You might be accustomed to using third-party libraries such as Apache Common String Utils or Guava String Joiner to join strings. The long-awaited feature was delivered in core Java 8 to simplify dependency and gain the ability to join strings. Let's walk through some common examples exploring these new features. Generating a Java project from a Maven archetype, quick start, we will update the project to use Java 8 and add the dependency of JUnit. Two new approaches to concatenating strings in Java 8 is to use string.join or string joiner. Let's instantiate a string joiner class and use a space as a delimiter or the value that will be placed between each string. Adding a few random strings of level up, lunch, and tutorial, we can call to string to convert string joiner to a string, using a JUnit4 assert statement to validate the expected results. String.join is an abbreviated call in a sense, but if you look under the covers, it delegates to string joiner. Let's use the same delimiter and values to concatenate the string. Finally, let's run the test to validate our results. Another class added in Java 8 was inStream, which is a specialized stream for dealing with primitive ints. In the instance we wanted to convert the inStream to a string, we could join all the values together using a specialized collector called collectors.joining. This collector under the cover uses a string joiner that concatenates the input of the stream and will separate each value with a comma and append a prefix and a suffix bracket. This technique could be used for int stream or a sister stream, long stream, or double stream as well. Let's run our example and validate the test is successful. Next, while I wouldn't suggest building your own CSV concatenator, you could take a list of strings and produce a comma separated string. There are many open source libraries such as OpenCSV or CommonCSV that are better suited for CSV parsing. In the first snippet, let's use string.join passing a comma as a delimiter and hello world and CSV as elements, then writing a unit test to validate our results. The second snippet will create a list of the same values using collectors.joining to collector join the strings in an array list together. Let's run our test to validate. In our next snippet, we created a team class and mocked up some data related to the NCAA tournament. Oftentimes when you have a list of objects, you may want to pull fields across the object to produce a string. In this snippet, we want to join all the team's names and separate it with a dash. Calling the stream.map and passing in team colon colon get name method reference will map each team's name. You can think of it as looping over the array list with a for each loop calling team.get name. Next, passing in using collectors.joiner with a parameter of a dash will join each element with a dash. Again, let's run our test to validate the results. Again, not a recommended approach to producing JSON, but the snippet will show the power of a string joiner using prefix and suffix. Creating a hash map with some seed data we can call entry set.stream and the map function to call the toString method on each value, which will return the key equals value. We then call the collect using collections.joiner specifying a comma as a delimiter and the prefix and suffix containing a bracket. Let's run our test again to validate. Although Java 8 has made progress making it easier for developers to join strings, I don't think it is as flexible, powerful, and as fluent as Guava Joiner quite yet. Thanks for joining in today's level up. Have a great day.